When I killed my first buck, my girlfriend's dad, Randy, was right next to me, and our friend Mike was watching from up above through the spotting scope. Nine years later, Randy is now my father-in-law, and we still hunt with Mike every chance we can get the three of us together. I owe a majority of my hunting knowledge to these two guys, and one of my most fulfilling hunting moments happened last year when I was able to call a bull in and watch Mike air him on the third day of our Colorado elk hunt. We've always hunted Colorado together, but this year we decided to try something new. A do-it-yourself caribou hunt in Alaska. Let's go. Let's go do it. First day hunting, baby. I'm trying to find a place across the river. We're going to get wet either way. We know that. We're just trying to minimize how wet we're going to get. So I'm going to walk up and down here, find the best crossing point, and head over to the ridge. Get up here. We've seen a ton of caribou over there yesterday where we couldn't hunt. So we'll go get them today. Hopefully they're back. We got up on this plateau and sitting here glass in the first couple minutes we got some caribou coming down here really nice bowl and a smaller bowl with them so we're hoping they pop up on this ridge over here in a good spot to where we can make a play on them
good bull. Well, we had an opportunity. <clears throat> Everything came together. 45 yards and hit a branch. Back to camp. Another day. I couldn't help but feel responsible for Mike's shot not working out. During the stock, Mike had turned to me and told me to get down with the camera, but the bull had already caught some of my movement. This didn't cause the bull to blow out, but it eventually led to Mike rushing his stock and then rushing his shot. His arrow caught a small limb sticking out from a bush and sailed below the bull. The next day found Mike and I stocking two bulls, and Mike was able to execute a good shot on one of them. Later on, Mike told me that he almost felt like he'd shot the bull out from under me, but I felt the exact opposite. I was extremely grateful that Mike had gotten another opportunity to harvest a bull, and that I had not ruined his chances following him with the camera. In all of my years filming hunts, I never felt like I'd blown a stock for the hunter until now. Mike hadn't signed up for me to follow him around with the camera. He signed up for adventure in Alaska. What are we doing today? Killing caribou by you. Okay. We're going to be out there for a while. <laughs> How are we going to kill caribou? <laughs> well, you take another bag of tortillas. Taking the A team with you today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, how is the A team going to help us get caribou? What are we go Where are we going? Let's go with Might that. Might have to shoot them for you. <laughs> We're going to take our bows. <laughs> <laughs> 